In this video, we're going to create Kogo points using the points creation tool. We're also going to drop down and describe the different point creation methods inside of the point creation tool. The point creation tool is contained in the home tab of the ribbon bar under create ground data, the points drop down. The points creation tool contains all of the options below it in this drop down, with the exception of northing, easting, bearing, azimuth, angle, deflection, as well as create points group, create Kogo points from corridor, create blocks from Kogo points, and convert land desktop points. If I initiate the points creation tool, the create points dialog shows up. The create points dialog has seven options, six of which are drop downs. These drop downs correlate back to the methods that we can use inside of the create ground data points drop down. The first drop down is the points creation miscellaneous methods. The second drop down is the intersections methods. The third drop down is the alignments methods. The fourth drop down is the surface methods. The fifth drop down is the interpolate methods. And the sixth drop down is the slope methods. The seventh option is an import points from a file option. Inside of each of these drop downs, the title for how to create that point is pretty self explanatory. But if the title alone is not enough to describe to you how to create that point using that method, you can go back to your points drop down. And under the section, if you hover over that selection you want to use, it will give you a lengthier description of how to create that point or what that point creation method does. So for example, if we wanted to know what the intersection method of direction object was, then we could come over to intersections, hover over direction object, and it would tell us that a direction object command creates a point at the intersection of a direction and a selected arc line, polyline, lot line, feature line, or figure. We're going to go ahead and create some points using the manual method. So I'm going to go ahead and initiate the manual method. And in the command line, you'll see that it is telling me to specify a location for my new point. We're going to create four points, each correlating to a corner on this hypothetical parcel that we have here. So I'm going to snap on this corner. And you'll see that the command line now tells me to enter a point description. I'm going to use the point description calc for all four of these points. And now it's prompting me to specify a point elevation. Because I'm only looking for a location of these possible corners, I'm not going to specify an elevation. So I will leave it as a default of zero feet. Now it's telling me to specify a new location. I'm going to go faster now and I'm going to go through and create the remaining three points. This corner. And now you can see that Civil 3 is prompting me to give another point description, but it retains my original point description from my last point that I created, which is calc. So I can go ahead and just hit enter. And then I can hit enter again to set it as zero feet. I can select the next corner and hit enter twice. And it creates that next point. And I can select the fourth corner and hit enter twice and I now have my fourth point.